Have you ever thought about how often you use your laptop, like typing or mousing around a day? The heaviest computer user accumulates up to 3 million keystrokes and 17 miles of mousing a year. 17 miles of mousing a year. Just let that sink in. I I have no idea how crazy that sounds, but it just sounds crazy. According to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, almost two thirds of all occupational illnesses reported were upper body injuries. And one example of such an injury is called carpal tunnel syndrome. So what is exactly carpal tunnel syndrome? It is a condition where there's a lot of excessive pressure on the median nerve. This is nerve and the wrist that allows feeling and movement to parts of the hand. It can lead to numbness, tingling, weakness, or even muscle damage in the hands and fingers. It is among the most prevalent medical conditions in the United States, affecting almost 7% of the population. They account for 14% of patient visits and 19% of hospital stays, according to National Institute for Occupational Health and Safety. Almost half of the carpal tunnel syndrome cases result in up to 31 days or even longer days of work loss that is absolutely ridiculous. So this has eventually increased the demand for ergonomics because it's uniquely designed to help increase our work efficiency and productivity basically by reducing uh, physical discomfort from our workstation. For example, just think about you know the angle of your computer monitor or the height of your desk. Just imagine, you know, your eyes are strained by the end of the day or your wrist hurt from typing or mousing pretty much all day long. And this is where ergonomics play a huge role because it can help prevent, you know, most common workplace injuries by adjusting tools to our most natural and comfortable positions. With that said, in today's episode, I'd like to focus on some of the top rated uh, products, I mean, keyboards and mice on Amazon and when it comes to creating a better workplace you know whether it is at home or at the office well we're waiting for let's dive in this is my first ever ergonomic keyboard that I used uh, almost three years ago until I switched over to this Microsoft sculpt ergonomic keyboard which also came with this ergonomic mouse right here. I was using those two products until I got this brand new ones by Logitech about a two or a month ago, which also came with this brand new ergonomic mouse right here. Now, I really do want to say that these are all great products and I really liked each one of them when I was using it. However, each product has its own pros and cons and I like to share what those are and my personal opinions on that. So I think this episode is going to help you decide which product might be best for you in your case, especially if you're considering to get one for yourself. To kick it off, Perex Perry Board 512 Ergonomic Split is absolutely budget friendly, uh, currently priced at $39.21, which is slightly under $40 on Amazon. It has 4.4 stars backed by 2,594 reviews. Um, and I really still like this one to this day because of the way, you know, typing feels on this one. And what I mean by that is it has that old school feel of typing, like, you know, each keystroke is pretty bulky um, and because it stands out. Um, and it makes that satisfying sound and touch from one of those traditional keyboards back in the day. It definitely carries that over and it really focuses on basics and fundamentals of what, you know, basic keyboards should be. But on the flip side, it can get pretty noisy and it can sometimes bother others around you. I was actually complaining about this back in the day uh, when I used to work at a different company by, you know, some of my corkers, um, they really didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah. Well, there is a wireless version. Uh, this version, unfortunately, right here is not wireless, so you'll have to deal with the, you know, the lengthy USB cable to be able to use it. This may not be an issue necessarily if you don't mind it, but if you are one of those people who are, you know, who try to be a cord cutter, 
uh, then yeah, this may be a downside for you. It comes with this re-support and it's definitely better than not having it. But unlike the Microsoft Sculpt and Logitech Ergo K860, it is actually made of hard plastic. It also comes with these uh, two legs underneath where you can adjust the uh, angle of the keyboard. But I find it not that practical at all because um, it rather puts more, you know, de-stress on your wrists. It's relatively light compared to the other two keyboards. But because of that, the build quality, um, I cannot help, but it feels pretty cheapy. Moving on to Microsoft Sculpt Keyboard is currently priced at $70 for the keyboard alone. But with the mouse, it's priced at $150. I personally recommend to get the keyboard and mouse separately because the mouse alone is priced at $40 only. So if you do the math, you'll be able to know what is a better deal for you. First of all, it's wireless supported by this micro USB. It has the most sleek and compact design among the other two keyboards, which is because it has a separate number pad. So that kind of helps maximize flexibility and mobility in that sense. I've actually lost my number pad a long time ago, so my apologies for not being able to demonstrate it in this episode. Anyways, it's also relatively very quiet when typing, so it's less likely annoying other people around you. I personally still like this keyboard because of the kind of futuristic design, and I really like the fact that it comes with the built-in cushion palm rest, which definitely adds more comfort on your wrists. But with this alternate, there are also some cons with this product. First, it has no built-in in adjustable palm lift. I mean, as a matter of fact, it still comes with a separate palm lift, but it's too bulky and it's kind of annoying to carry around if you really need it, in my opinion. Also, because of the material of the cushion palm rest, it's really easy to get dirty pretty quickly. Unfortunately, once it gets dirty, it seems almost impossible to clean it away. Last but not least, the most highly rated one is this Logitech Ergo K860 ergonomic keyboard. This one can be purchased at $130 on Amazon, but with the MX vertical mouse, it's, wait for it, $223. What? Goodness. Yes, you heard it right. The mouse alone is $93. You know, I'll just be honest with you guys. I think these price tags are absolutely ridiculous for just keyboard and mouse. Easy peasy. I'm out. I mean, you can literally buy two Apple stocks with this, but I can tell you that this is probably the best ergonomic keyboard and mouse you can buy today, and here is why. It's one of very few ergonomics approved keyboards, which means it's certified to improve posture and lower muscle strain. Not only does it come with this payload slash multi-layer foam palm rest, but it's also stain resistant because of that, it's pretty easy to clean. So compared to the Microsoft Sculpt, the palm rest feels more cushiony and even softer. You can also adjust the angle of the keyboard among 0, minus 4, and minus 7 degree to be able to best fit your hand position. And I can tell you that this makes a day and night difference. On top of that, it supports dual connectivity, which means you can wirelessly connect it to your device through a USB receiver and Bluetooth. And it has easy switch buttons to connect up to three three different devices so you won't need to deal with three different keyboards so to speak because you can just register this keyboard on your devices through Bluetooth and switch around whenever you need to or whenever you want to which is very practical. The overall build quality feels even more premium compared to a uh, Microsoft Sculpt keyboard or compared to the other uh, Parix keyboard. Also the overall typing experience feels more even more effortless and smoother in my personal opinion. Lastly, it's probably minimal difference, but it sounds even quieter than Microsoft Sculpt. So, is it scientifically proven that this ergonomic keyboards and mice can resolve the carpal tunnel syndromes? Unfortunately, no. But if you ask me if they're better than the traditional ones out there or if they're even worth it, absolutely. It actually does help reduce pain and strain on your wrists and fingers, honestly, I don't think I can ever go back to the regular ones after using this ergonomic keyboards and mice for a while. 
Although they might feel a little bit awkward and new at first, once you get used to them, you'll feel much better and you'll feel actually less strained while you're using them. When it comes to choosing a product, if you're financially somewhat comfortable, I would definitely consider the Logitech Ergo KA60 with MX vertical mouse. Microsoft Sculpt keyboard and mouse would be a great alternative if you're not willing to spend too much. And lastly, if you're short on a budget or you just don't want to simply spend more than $50 on a keyboard, then Peris Periboard 512 would be your smart decision for your wallet. Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Please. Leave your comments down below. That's it for today's video guys. Thank you guys so much for sparing a few minutes of your day with me. I really do appreciate it. And as always, I hope you guys do enjoy this episode and found it informative and entertaining. And if you guys haven't done so, please go ahead and subscribe my channel and give it a big thumbs up. And uh, they'll be really, really helpful for my channel to grow down the road in the future. Just think of it as growing a small plant that can potentially grow into a big tree with lots of fruits that will eventually add more values in your life over time. Additionally, just to give you guys a heads up, in my next episode, I'm going to review on this top rated portable projector that I found on Amazon. Um, stay tuned for that. It's going to be a great one. Until next time. Please stay safe, healthy, and positive. And lastly, happy shopping. Thank you guys. Peace.